Did she eat anything? No, she's, uh, she's past eating. You look tired. No, 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 I'm all right, I'm fine. First rule of nursing, you can't look after your patient if you don't look after yourself. That tea's not strong enough for Emma. She likes it really strong with lots of milk. Builder's tea, she called it. I'll get it right next time. How long are you staying? Well, it's my day off, actually, but I'd like to stay, if you don't mind. No, of course, cool, stay, yeah. Well, Dr Ramsden will be here this afternoon, and the agency nurse should be here soon, so you don't need to worry. I've got everything covered. No, I'd better get upstairs. I don't like leaving her on her own. Well, she was asleep when I left her. <laughs> but when she wakes up, I'll be there. Mike, you do know that there's nothing we can do except keep her comfortable, don't you? Yeah. Yes, I know. Do you want a cup of tea? Eh? Yeah, thanks. Yeah. OK. What if we just ring Peter Hartnell and tell him exactly what Alex has said? Well, he didn't believe us when we told him that Wayne was being abused. Why should he believe us now? All right, so we just call the police. I mean, it, it must be illegal. You can't buy and sell children. <sighs> of course it's illegal. But it's just the same, isn't it? It's his word against ours. <sighs> How did we end up here? All we wanted to do was to help a child in trouble and now look at us. It seems to me that the world's turned upside down. I mean, not so long ago, we, we, we spent months being examined and, and, and tested in the minutest detail, just so as we'd be allowed to foster a child. Then along swan somebody like Alex Swinton and offers to sell us a child £10,000. I am scared. The deeper we get into this, the more likely it is that they're never going to let us foster again, let alone adopt. Yeah. I'm aware of that. I want us to have a child in our lives. You're not... You're not suggesting that, that we're by Wayne? No. No, of course I'm not. I'm, all I'm saying is that we've got to be careful not to burn our bridges. I mean, obviously, we can't trust him. And anyway, if we did something like that, it'd make us just as bad as he is. Kelly, still no sign of Audrey? No, I rang a hotel first thing this morning, but she'd already checked out. She must be on her way back. Are you going over there now? Yeah, yeah, do you want to lift? Uh, no, no thanks, I've got a few things to do. I was going to ring, but you don't like to pester, do you? Are we told them I'll be over later? Yeah, I'll tell her. Actually, if she's coming back by train, she might have rang her for a taxi, you know, to pick her up from the station. I think I'll nip over to streetcars and see if she's called them. Worth a try. Uh, you will tell me if anything happens, won't you? Yeah, I'll tell you. Thanks. Ah, Hayley, are you going over to Alma's? Um, well, I wasn't thinking of doing, no, why? You've not heard, have you? Heard what? <sighs> Alma collapsed and she was rushed to hospital. Oh, no, I knew she was ill, but how is she? It's, uh, it's bad. It's very bad. The only reason she's at home is because she didn't want to die in the hospital. Oh, no. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to upset you. I thought you ought to know. Mike's arranged 24-hour nursing for her around at Audrey's. I never realised. Yeah, and Audrey's gone missing. I just hope she's back in time. Listen, I'll have to go. I've got things to do. Uh, I'm going over later. Give us a ring if you want a lift, eh? Come in. Mike's upstairs. I just popped round to give him some. Okay. How's Alma? Sorry, that's a stupid question. Oh, no, it's not. Um, and there's no need to whisper. She's OK. Uh, she's on quite a lot of morphine, so she doesn't always make sense, but she's not in any pain. Good. Right. Um, if you could just give this to Mike for me. Oh, can you not stay for a bit? No, I don't think so. I'm sure Alma would like to see you. No, we're not that close. And any road, I couldn't bear to see her. I'm not good with stuff like this. Hey, nobody is. But there's lots of other things to do if you'd like to help. Happen we'll get through a lot of tea. And the doorbell always needs answering. I'll put the kettle on. Mike? It's all right, I'm here. This is 
it still raining? I don't know. I haven't looked. Rain in June. Mike? That's right. Listen, uh, is there anything you want to drink or...? Oh, that's look awful. No. You look fine. You look perfect. Do you think you ought to uh, draw the... Hmm? The thing is, the, the, um, the curtains. Oh, this is damn morphine. <laughs> it stops you, stops you thinking. You look terrible. I'm sure I'm talking nonsense. I understand what you say. Hey. Thank you for this. Oh, that's right. Now, listen, uh, do you want anything to eat or drink? Uh, anything at all, just say so and I'll get it for you. Where's Audrey? Oh, that's, she's on her way home. But on her way? Mm, she'll be here soon. No, I've got, I've got to see Audrey. I've got to see her because I was terrible to her. I mean, I can't just leave it like this. She's my best friend. Don't worry, she's on her way. She'll be here soon. <laughs> Okay to come in. Okay. Hey, come and sit down. <laughs> How are you? I don't know. You better ask my doctor. Uh, my my husband, my ex-husband. I don't. I'm very confused. <laughs> you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. And you too. No arguing. You've got to be nice to each other. No fighting. We promise. This is nice. Thought it was going to hurt, but it doesn't. You won't leave me, will you? I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> Wild horses wouldn't drag me away. Yes, well, I'm, I'm here all day. Right. Oh. Right, I've got to go around to Alma's. I've just bumped into Curly in Street and he says that she's dying. What? I, I, look, I knew you said she was ill, but I didn't know... I know, I know. Well, he said that she was in hospital and now they've let her come home to die. That's terrible. Who's that on the phone? Um, Alex Swinton. Oh, what does he want? It's coming round. What for? I, I don't know. He, he, he's bringing Wayne round. I wanted to see that he was all right. Look, look. you go to Alma. I, I can cope with this. No, no, I'll, I'll stay here. I'll go around to Alma's later. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah, I'll, um, I'll phone the house. I'll see what's going on. What are you doing here? I asked you a question. I brought you this. It came this morning. It's from Adam. He phoned earlier, said that he'd been trying your mobile. I think he's left a message. I thought you'd want to know. I don't want you here. He says he's going to phone again tonight. They can't use mobiles in school hours. Didn't you hear me? I don't want you here. Why don't you go and leave us alone? Mike, please, let me help. I know what you're doing and it's a good thing, but you can't do it all on your own. You look tired. Please, Mike, let me do something. I'll stay down here, I'll tidy up, I'll make tea. I won't be in your way. I'll get it. Mike, please, Hi, let me out. Hiya, Molly. You all right? Yeah, how's it going? OK, everything's fine now. Hiya, okay. oh, yeah. is uh, everybody all right? Yeah, we're fine, but she's finding it hard to talk. I think it's a morphine. Yeah, well, there's not much we can do about that, I'm afraid. How are you? You look a bit tired, mate. No, I'm fine, fits a fiddle. We take it in turns to sit with her. She's never left alone. OK, let's go and see her, eh? Right, I'll make some sandwiches. Can you ask upstairs, see what they want? Yeah, of course I can. <sighs> but we'll just pop round for a friendly cup of tea, if that's all right. Wayne's always welcome here. Yes, it's nice to see you again so soon, Wayne. Are you all right? Do you want a drink or anything? I can get your milkshake. Do you want a milkshake? Yeah. Well, go on then, ask nicely. Can... 
Can I have a milkshake, please? Of course you can. Kids, eh? Give them what you want all the time, they'll eat you out of house and home. <clears throat> what have you done to your wrist, Wayne? Is that a bandage? Tell them what happened. I fell over. Where did you fall? I were in the street playing football. Did you take him to see a doctor? There's no need. He's all right. You're all right, aren't you? He's right-handed. Let's have a look at him. There's no need. I'm a trained first aider. Does it hurt? No, it's OK. That is very badly bruised. That's kids, isn't it? Always getting themselves hurt, always getting into accidents. The thing is, round our way, there's so many dangerous places where a kid could do himself damage. Someone should do something about it. One day, some poor kid's going to seriously get hurt. Alma, it's Matt here. Matt? It's Dr Ramsden. Can you tell me if you feel any pain? No. Is that good or bad? It's good. There's no reason why you should. So if you feel at all uncomfortable, you just let us know, okay? Mm -hmm. Is there anything you'd like to ask me? Yes, where's Audrey? Why isn't she here? She's on the way. She'll be here any time. <sighs> Typical. She's never here when I need her. She always was a flippity gibbet. Have you uh, managed to drink anything? Do you fancy some music? What do you want? You choose. You can just rest, eh? I'm just going to take your pulse. She falls asleep. Ten minutes later, she wakes up. That's a good idea, some music. Hello again. Thought we dropped off. OK, thanks. Bye. Still no sound of Audrey. Why don't you go upstairs? No, I'm all right. You were with Alma when she collapsed yesterday, weren't you? Yeah. Not your fault, you know. You went there. What happened? We were arguing. What about? Does it matter? No, it doesn't. And it doesn't matter that you were arguing. Alma's not dying because she had a disagreement with you. Am I supposed to feel better now? I think you'd feel better if you went upstairs. There's no point. I don't even like Alma. I can't help her. I'm here for Mike. That's what I'm here for. I'm sure if you ask Roy nicely, he'll give you some money to go to the shops and get some sweets. Hello. What's that? 50p? Don't be tight, Roy. Give the lad a quid at least. Do you not know the price of sweets these days? You don't have to. Take are. it. It's all right. Hey, and you just watch yourself on that road. We don't want you getting run over, do we? See you in a bit, eh? <laughs> Should I check the place for bugs? What do you want? 
I was just wondering if you had had time to think about my offer. Oh, don't tell me you were serious. Not at first, no. But the more I thought about it, and the more I thought, well, well, why not? It could be good for both of us. You can't tell a child. Look, I've got debts, right? And not with people who just send nasty letters. It's tough for us. It's tough for Sheila. We don't mean to take you out on a lad, but sometimes you can't help yourself. Sheila trusts you. Truth is, we were better off when he was in care. Look, I know I was mouthing off before. Fair enough. Let's say five grand. Hey? Five grand would make a big difference to me. It'd give me and Sheila a new start. Five grand, and he comes to live with you. It's what he wants. Look, I, I, I'll keep social services happy. It's what you want, isn't it? He likes you. And you like him. Five grand, everybody's happy. Going window shopping. Listen, if I can't spoil my daughter and my granddaughter, then who can spoil? <laughs> Did you enjoy yourselves? That's the most important. Oh, I had a fantastic time. I can't wait to show them a new clothes. Well, I put the kettle on. You can give us a fashion Ooh. show. Oh yes, well I'm on. Come Audrey. on, let's get inside. Audrey. Oh, tell me hi. What is it? We've been trying to ring you. It's Alma. She collapsed yesterday and was rushed to hospital. Oh no. Is she still there? No, no, she's at home. I've just spoken to Ken. They don't think she's got very long. Matt's there. What do you mean, not very long? Are you talking days, weeks for? I don't think we're talking days. I think it's more like hours. No. No, it can't be. I took her to see him, you know. Perry Kama. Bought the tickets months in advance. Had an early meal. She did nothing but complain. What's so good of going to a fancy restaurant if you're not hungry, she said. And we took a taxi to the Royal Albert Hall and... Oh, I'll never forget her face when he came on. What they say about a child? Uh, her face lit up. Well, that's what hers did when he came on. Her face lit up. I'll never forget that. I've made a few mistakes in my time. We all have. My biggest mistake was letting her slip through my fingers. So tell her. But she's asleep. She can hear you. Alma? Alma, it's Mike. I don't know if you can hear me or not or anything, but there's something you've got to know. I've never loved anyone like I've loved you. I really mean that. You saw the bruises. Yeah. He didn't fall over. He made him say that. I know. So what are we going to do? Well, we've got to get Wayne away from him. <laughs> we'll have to pay him. No. No, but if we could persuade him that we were serious, and if social services saw the bruises, we, we could persuade Wayne to tell the truth. Well, maybe, well, I don't know, but we've got to do something. Don't worry about me. I've got all day. Um, look, we, we've, we've, uh, we've decided to, uh, 
to accept your offer. Really? Yes, sir, really. How do we know you're not going to come round here asking for more money? Scouts on her. Right, well, we'd better get this sorted out before Wayne gets back. Um, you, you'll leave him here. No problem. As soon as I've got my money. Right, well, uh, I'll write you a cheque out. Don't be daft. I can't take a cheque. I want cash. We, we haven't got that sort of money in cash. We'll get it. I can wait. Tell you what, I'll even pack a bag for him. Right, right, right. Uh, well, I'll get you the money, but you, you'll leave Wayne here. No way. No money, no Wayne. Look, you get the cash, give me a call, and I'll bring him straight round. Look, you promised me. You won't lay a finger on that boy. Or what? I mean it. One mark on that child and... Well, deal's off. to London. I don't know what I was thinking. Ma'am, you weren't to know. Yes, I did know, Gail. I did. I knew something like this would happen. I didn't want her to go away. I told her, but would she listen? Well, you're here now, though. That's all that matters. Just stop the car. What? Just stop the car. What is it? I can see your house. We're nearly in your street. If you don't stop the car right now, Curly, I'm going to throw myself out. All right, all right. Ma'am, what is it? I can't go in. I know it's not easy, but we have to. No, I can't face it, Gail. You don't see it, do you? I don't know what to do. I don't know what to say. I don't want to watch her die. She was asking for you. Put yourself in her shoes. Would she let you down, would she? Since we've heard about this at the hospital, I have had nightmares about this day. We can wait two minutes. Yeah. There's Linda. Yeah, Mike's in there. And Ken. In my house? Yes. Thank God you're here. Alma's been asking for you. Come on. Can you just give us a minute? No, I'm all right. I'm all right. Come on, let's get inside. Oh, come in. Thought you'd got lost. Away for a couple of days. Come back, you got the house full of people. Hmm? Well, I'm here now. Gail's with me. Curly drove us over. We've only just got off the train, actually. I haven't had time for a cup of tea or anything. Everything's going to be all right now, love, because I'm going to look after you. I'm here now, and I'm not going anywhere. Come on. Come on, Alma. Come on. I'm sorry. She's gone. 